Lucas and Lucas Lagoons, and we just got done our beautiful job here in Plant City. I'm sitting here at the swim up bar on the dry side here at the Dorado. And up here we got another bar for the hot tub. Here we got a great outdoor dining room where you can sit out here and eat dinner or play some cards with some friends and some poker. And even here in Florida in the evenings it can get a little chilly. So you can sit over here by the fire, keep warm, and it gives great ambiance at night. What I was mentioning in my design tips about how you can have fun with negative edge basins and not just simply have them as a function where they hold water to feed back into the pool, but actually turn that into another feature of the pool. Here we've created a large sun shelf area where kids can play in the shallow area. But you could actually put some lounge chairs in here and hang out in the shallow end. And then if you wish, you can actually come down and swim through the deeper end and come under the bridge over here and out to the other side of the pool. And then, instead of having just a typical tiled negative edge, you can actually use that as another space to create a waterfall. Another nice feature, people love bridges. And instead of just walking down into the pleasant dining room, it's more like an adventure when you have a bridge to cross to get to the other side. And I wanted the hot tub to look more like an island. And this is looking to pass to the back of the pool. So we created a shallow walkway here under the water. So the view is that the hot tub is actually like a little island where you have to venture across to get into. Now when designing the columns for the outdoor dining room, we wanted something that really blended in with the rest of the waterfalls. So we did a stone column. Now inside these stone columns is the plumbing for the waterfall and the plumbing for the spa, for the air. So you see no plumbing. You walk around this and you will never see any pipes. They're all integrated into the stonework and the design of the pool cell. You can't see any of the plumbing. It's all hidden between these two slabs of stone. And I create the two slabs together so that it looks natural, so that the water is coming between the crevices of the two stones, just as it would in nature. And as if there wasn't enough features to this awesome property, come step outside with me and look. A beautiful outdoor fire pit where you can have seating by the pond. Of course, no outdoor living space is complete without having your outdoor kitchen and your grill. So you can hang out and have all the amenities of inside, but enjoy the ambiance and the setting of being outside and by your beautiful waterfall.